What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Growing Organic. Today, what we're doing is amending my soil so I can plant a new fruit tree right over here. So these are all of the amendments we're gonna be adding to the existing soil. Okay, so what we're doing is taking some old potting soil. In fact, here's an old container uh, where a plant died and we have the leftover soil. So we have three containers here that we're gonna mix in with this pile here. This is the existing soil. You can see, look at how sandy this is. It has almost no organic matter. Now what I wanna do is mix in these containers. So we're gonna just dump these out. Again, this is just old potting soil. <laughs> okay, this was, you can see right here, this entire container was used to grow another plant. So we have roots, you can see all the way through. This is a bunch of leftover soil from other plants. Let's go ahead and mix this up, blend this pretty well first, and then we will add the amendments. Okay, what I wanna do is just, I'm moving the entire pile to the left about five feet and then I'm gonna move it back. So by the time you move it twice, it should be fully mixed. Okay, now what I'm doing is moving all the soil back over. Okay, what I'm gonna do is kind of knock this pile down a little bit. It's gonna be easier to mix. So we're just kind of pushing the top down, get it spread out a little bit like this. Then we're gonna dump all the amendments right on top. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, that was one cubic foot. Just spread that around a little bit. Okay, so we got the Malibu compost. Now, I do wanna add a little more aeration to the soil. We're gonna add a little bit of perlite to the soil mix as well. So let's go ahead and dump some of this out. That's probably enough right there. You don't need too much. Probably a couple gallons of the perlite. Okay, I just added a bag of pumice. This was four quarts. So I have one bag left over. I'll save this for another time. Let's go ahead and do the worm castings. Okay, I did about a half a bag. We got about 20 pounds of worm castings. Pumpkin, I thought you were gonna help. I thought you were gonna help mix the soil. I thought you were gonna help plant this tree. You're not doing too much. The next one we're gonna be using is the alfalfa meal. And see, this comes in a five pound bag. So I'm gonna add about maybe a pound of the alfalfa. Kinda like making a pizza. Okay, again, the next one is gonna be oyster shell. Very excellent source of calcium and improving the soil structure. This comes in a five pound container. So I'll probably use about two pounds of this. All right, so the ground up oyster shell. Now the last thing is gonna be the seabird guano. This is a high phosphorus seabird guano. So you'll have a lot of fruits 
Okay, we're gonna do probably a pound of this. I'd say about that much. So again, this giant pile right here will be enough to plant maybe two or three fruit trees. Pumpkin, where are you going? This is a five pound bag. We're gonna give it probably, let's go about two pounds. Try not to inhale the rock dust. Okay, now we just had to blend all this together. So we'll get our shovel, mix all this up, and then we'll be ready to plant. You're gonna flip it over upside down. So you wanna go up, kind of twist it and let it mix kind of in the air. Let's try it again. Okay, now I'm just gonna push soil to the side. Looks pretty good. Looks like we're a little bit low. So I'm gonna go ahead, push some more in the bottom. We're gonna get it to the right height. So you want your, the top of the soil here to be even with your soil adjacent to your plant. So if I level across here, that's just about right. Okay, so now let me just sprinkle a little bit of this soil on the bottom. Kind of pack it a little bit flat. comes with a scooper. I'm going to put about this much and we're going to sprinkle it right in the root zone where the pot is going to sit. Now we're going to set the tree down. Make sure we have it the right direction. That looks pretty good. Looks just about correct. So what we'll do is start backfilling. So regardless of what planting with this soil mix I think anything will do really well okay that looks pretty good now at this point I'm gonna actually do a little bit of this happy frog organic fertilizer halfway through then we'll finish backfilling and then do a little more on top so I'm just gonna grab like a handful Cut like that. Do a little bit more. Then I'm just going to lightly massage that in. Now we can finish the backfill. Okay, that looks just about right. Next, we're going to use this mulch over here to go over the top. I'm lightly packing it, not too hard, making sure there's not any big air pockets. So let's add a little bit of more of this Happy Frog fruit tree fertilizer right on top. And we'll fertilize these echinacea as well going about 12 inches around the root ball of the tree we'll kind of blend that in a little bit okay now this tree is going to be off to a great start guaranteed all right guys well i'm going to finish soaking this tree for about 10 minutes 
I probably want to put about 15 gallons of water. All the mycorrhizal fungi in there will be activated. Okay, I think I'm done watering. Let's go ahead. I'm going to install the bamboo. We're gonna to have to jab through the root ball in order to do this. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, we got some twine there. I'll probably do another, maybe do another one here. Get this growing straight up. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Get out there and plant yourself a fruit tree. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.